I have been waiting so long for this GPU. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now, you can get a Windows 11 CD key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 11, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. All right, so not too long ago, AMD released the RX 9060 XT, and I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't even pay attention. Why, you might ask? Because no graphics cards have been available at their MSRP, so who cares what the RX 9060 XT comes out at if you're not gonna be able to buy it? Well, fast forward to today, and it turns out I was wrong. I'll be honest with you guys. Now, when you look at the other GPUs on the market today, they're still not available at their MSRP. However, they have definitely been coming down in terms of price, especially the RTX 5090, which went from having to sell both your lungs to now only one of them to be able to afford one. So things are definitely improving, but if you don't wanna have to refinance your mortgage, well, let's talk about a GPU you can actually buy today that's actually available at the MSRP, and yes, that is the RX 9060 XT. This is the GPU that I have been waiting for because it's actually good and it's actually available at the MSRP. So take a look at my screen right now. You can see that the RX 9060 XT is not only available at MSRP of $299.99, which by the way is actually a pretty good price point, but there's quite a few models available. And in fact, the RX 9060 XT eight gigabyte here, and yes, we will talk about the 16 gigabyte version as well, but this one that's supposed to cost 300 bucks, it's not only 300 bucks, it also has a $30 gift card available with the purchase, which means depending on how you look at it, it's actually effectively below MSRP. So if you want a graphics card right now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I will have affiliate links in the description below for these cards because I'll be honest, these are the only graphics cards I can truly recommend right now. So for that reason, if you've been waiting for a good graphics card, here it is. And it, this is, look, this is your only option, <laughs> so this is what it is. But you might be wanting the 16 gigabyte version. Well, as it turns out, that is also available roughly at MSRP. Now, it depends on when you look, but today I did see one coming from ASRock. By the way, there's also another 9060 XT here, eight gigabyte, $70 promotional card coming in at 340, effectively, again, bringing it below the MSRP. I guys I haven't seen that in forever but let's go scroll down to the 16 gigabyte version here is the as rock challenger 16 gigabyte coming in at 370 dollars now is it the 350 dollar msrp we were promised no but this may actually be the msrp of this particular AIB model, as it's very common as cards start to get a little bit more expensive for the AIB models to cost 10 or $20 more. That's really not too crazy of an ask. And if we take a look here, not only are you getting 16 gigabytes of VRAM on this graphics card, but it also has shockingly a full 16 lanes of PCIe 5.0. Now that's important because if you're using an older system with PCIe 3.0 especially, or maybe even 4.0 in some select scenarios, if you run out of video memory especially, but also just generally, if you don't have the full 16 lanes, well, you can actually run into performance problems and a lot of people are cutting down the lanes to 8X. It's great to see that they're not doing that on these cards. So what I'm telling you is, here they are. They're right here. They're actually good. And yes, they should be somewhere around their NVIDIA counterparts, depending on what you do. I mean, in terms of raster performance, they're gonna bring you really, really excellent value. In terms of ray tracing, yeah, they're probably gonna fall a little bit behind. And yes, NVIDIA does have their advantages when it comes to frame generation, especially when it comes to the amount of games that have them. At least when I last looked, NVIDIA had a little bit more games with their technology than AMD did, but AMD has updated their tech as well with their new FSR presets for upscaling. And of course they've got frame generation now as well. So they're actually at MSRP. They actually have the full 16 lanes. Now, if you are someone who wants something like a 70 class GPU, 
I checked the RX 9070 is actually only about $50 above its MSRP for the lowest price model. I have affiliate link to that in the description below as well. That's actually not too bad when you're talking about 600 bucks versus $550. Not too bad, but as you start to go higher and higher, the 9070 XT, unfortunately, that one is, I believe, over $100 more for the lowest price model right now. And then you look at the RTX, well, 5070 Ti and above, and it starts to get a little bit crazy. The cheapest RTX 5070 Ti I saw was actually $900. That's that's pretty far off from the 750 that it's supposed to be at. Again, if it was $10, $20 higher, Hey, I get it. AIBs need a little bit for themselves too, if you know what I'm saying, but $150 over, it starts to get a little bit ridiculous. Then you look at the RTX 5080, the cheapest I've seen, which is, hey, I'll give them credit, it's way cheaper than I've seen in the past, but it's coming in at $1,200. Yeah, again, it used to be like $1,600, then it went to $1,400, now it's $1,200, but we're still talking about $200 over MSRP. Then you look at the RTX 5090, and it's not $200 over MSRP, it's $900 over MSRP, which is sadly a huge improvement as to where it was. So what I'm telling you is, look, the GPU market, it's a mess. I actually don't think it's gonna be too long until the 9070, 9070 XT and RTX 5070 Ti also follow suit. But either, that's just what I think. Do you think the GPUs are gonna start to come in stock at their MSRP like the 9060 XT? Is this the GPU you've been waiting for or are you still waiting? And would you buy Nvidia or would you buy AMD? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.